वेलकम टू माई चैनल फी कंसेप्ट सी एच एम दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज ऑन विस्कॉसिटी वेर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द फ्लो थ्रू अ नैरो ट्यूब एंड वी विल डिराइव द पॉइसलीज इक्वेशन फ्लो थ्रू अ नैरो ट्यूब पॉइसलीज इक्वेशन ऑब्जर्व दिस डायग्राम we will suppose a fluid flowing through this narrow tube the flow is considered to be steady because of viscosity the layer in contact with the wall of the tube it remains at rest and the layers which are away from the wall they are moving fast poissy derived a formula for the rate of flow of the viscous fluid through a cylindrical tube we will suppose that the liquid has a coefficient of viscosity eta and density rho it is flowing through a cylindrical tube of radius r radius r and length l the layer at the center will have maximum velocity now we will suppose a layer at a distance x suppose this layer this is at a distance x from this axis the outer layer we will assume the outer layer this one it is at a distance x plus dx from the axis we will write down this formula which we had seen in the earlier video f is equal to minus eta into a into du by dx this is the viscous force the surface area of the cylinder which we write down as 2 pi r h so here for this layer we will write down it as 2 pi into x l we'll substitute this area in the formula that we had seen above that is f is equal to minus eta into 2 pi x l into du by dx now the force at the end a of the tube we will write down that will be pressure into area area is pi x square so p into pi x square p is the pressure difference between the two ends now for a steady flow both these two forces should be equal so we will equate both these formulas so that is written pi pi will get cancelled out x will cancel out from here so what remains is we will rearrange this equation and we will write down du by dx is equal to minus px upon 2 eta l this is again written as du is equal to minus of p upon 2 eta l into x dx dx is taken on the other side now we will integrate this equation integration of du and here integration of x into dx integration of x will be x square upon 2 so we get integration of du is u so u is equal to p upon 2 eta l into x square upon 2 plus k the constant of integration the velocity of the liquid along the sides of the tube is zero so when the distance of the layer x is equal to r that is we are considering the wall of the tube the velocity is u is equal to 
we can substitute this u is 0 x we are taking as r so 0 is equal to minus p upon 4 eta l into r square plus k so we get the value of k by rearranging this equation k is equal to p r square upon 4 eta l. We can substitute the value of k now in the formula of, of velocity here. So, we get u is equal to p upon 4 eta l this is taken as common and in the bracket you have r square minus x square. So, this is the velocity of the liquid for a layer of uh, which is at a which is having a radius x or which is at a distance x. Now, we will write down the volume of the liquid between the two layers per second. We will denote it as dv. It is the area between the two imaginary tubes. So, area into the velocity. Area is 2 pi x into dx. So, area is given as the circumference, circumference into this distance between the two tubes, distance between the two tubes is dx. So, circumference is 2 pi x for this layer, circumference is 2 pi x into the distance between the two tubes that is dx. So, 2 pi x into dx is the area, velocity is u. So, that is substituted. So, we get this 2 pi x into u dx. So, we will write down, we will substitute u here. So, dv is equal to 2 pi x dx upon 4 eta l into p into r square minus x square. We can take or multiply x to this bracket, You in the bracket then you will get r square x minus x cube and this 2 into 2 is 4. So, we get p pi dx upon 2 eta l into r square x minus x cube. So, rate of flow of liquid through the entire tube that can be found by integrating this. So, integration of dv is equal to we will have to integrate here this bracket limits will be from 0 to r. So, that is written here what we had seen in the earlier slide we are integrating this this is a constant so that is written outside so integration of x will be x square upon 2 this r square is there and integration of x cube will be x raised to 3 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 so that will be x raised to 4 upon 4 the limits from 0 to r so, now if you substitute the limits r here in this x, so that will be r square. So, r square into r square will become r raised to 4 upon 2 minus here we substitute the upper limit uh, that is x is equal to r. So, this will also become r raised to 4 upon 4. we can cross multiply this. So, that will be 4 raised to uh, 4 into r raised to 4 minus 2 into r raised to 4 divided by this 2 into 4 is 8. So, subtract, subtracting this we get 2 r raised to 4 upon 8. This 2 2 will get cancelled out. We get p pi r raised to 4 upon 8 eta l. Rearranging this equation, we get the coefficient of viscosity eta is equal to p pi r raised to 4 upon 8 L v. So, this is the Poiseuille's formula. So, we have written down the Poiseuille's formula.
where P is equal to H rho G that is the hydrostatic pressure at any point inside the liquid, R is the radius of the capillary tube and uh, which we can measure using the traveling microscope. So, knowing these quantities we can uh, calculate the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid. Thank you for watching this video.